Coding assistants have changed the lives of developers around the world, but all of them require you to be connected to the internet and usually talk to ChatGPT. And that's a huge limitation, not only because of the cost, but also what if you're on a flight? What if you don't have internet connection? Now we have an incredible solution and we can have our own coding assistant completely locally. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Kodi, but we're gonna be setting it up with a local model powered by Olama, and it is open source. So many of you have asked for exactly this, the ability to have an auto-completing coding assistant that is run completely locally with a local model. Now, I wanna mention Cody is the sponsor of this video. So I'm gonna show you how to set everything up and you're gonna be able to run your own autocomplete coding assistant completely locally. It is amazing. Let's get into it. The model we're gonna be using today is Code Llama, and we're gonna be using the 7 billion parameter version and it works really well. Now I have a MacBook Pro M2 Max and it is instant. Now Kodi comes in the form of an extension for VS Code. So if you don't already use VS Code, download it. That's what I use as my main coding editor. So go to code.visualstudio.com and download whatever version is right for your operating system. Once you do that, open up Visual Studio code, you're gonna come over here to the left side and click the extensions button. Then you're simply gonna search for Kodi, C-O-D-Y, okay? Then you're gonna look for Kodi AI right here and we're gonna install pre-release and it is done. So then we can close out of this window. Then over here on the left side, we have the Kodi extension. So go ahead and click on that and it's gonna ask you to sign in. You can sign in with GitHub, but I'm gonna choose Google. So I'll click right there, then I click open. I'm gonna sign in, then I'm gonna click continue. Then it's gonna ask me one question, I believe. Sure, let's dive in. What do you use coding for? I'm using it for personal projects. And that's it. Then we authorize, and then we can open in Visual Studio Code. Okay, now we're signed in, and we're pretty much ready to go. So by default, it uses GPT-4 for everything, and it is completely free. So you get a coding assistant based on GPT-4 absolutely free. There are some rate limits for the free version, and the pro version is free right now, and I believe the next tier up is about $9 a month. But what we wanna do is use autocomplete completely locally. So let's set that up. Open up your browser and we're gonna be using Olama to power the inference. So go to olama.ai, download Olama and install it. Once you're done, you're gonna open up Olama and you know it's open if you see the little llama in your task tray up in the taskbar. Next, we're gonna open up a terminal in Visual Studio Code and the model we're gonna be using for inference is Code Llama 7B. So what we need to do to download it is Olama pull code llama colon 7b dash code and then hit enter. Now I already have it so it shouldn't download it again, but we'll see. Yep, so I already have it. It'll take just a few minutes to download. It's less than four gigabytes and then we're ready to go. Next, we're gonna go over to the Kodi settings right there and we're gonna open Kodi extension settings. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for this setting, auto complete advanced provider. You're gonna click on that and if it's not already selected, mine was, you're gonna click Unstable Olama. Now it is experimental and they do recommend using GPT-4, but this is definitely more fun. And right here you can select the different models if you wanted to try this one, but this is supported by Fireworks as it says. And we're just gonna leave this as null because we're gonna do everything through Olama. And then you can click out of the settings and we're pretty much done. Let's give it a try. Now to prove that it's running completely locally, I'm gonna open up this output. And then over here, I'm gonna select Kodi by source graph. And here we can actually already see it. Kodi completion provider, unstable Olama, code llama. So let's give it a try. So first, I'm gonna just have it write me some code by starting with a comment. So I'm just gonna type Fibonacci method, then I'm gonna hit enter. And then it immediately, you can see how fast that was, starts giving me the code. So now I hit tab to complete, I'm gonna hit enter again to go to the next line and it completes the rest of it. Boom, done, that's it. That is how easy it is and it's super fast. Let's give it something a little bit more complex now. Now, if you did want it to autocomplete without starting to type, you can hit this little light bulb right there and you could say ask to generate and then you tell it what you want it to generate right there. So let's try that. Ask Cody to generate, write me code that outputs numbers one to 100. I'll hit enter, Cody is working and there it is very fast and we can accept we can retry and we can undo and also show the diff so that is super handy and i'll accept there it is and as i mentioned cody is also really good at understanding the context of existing code so if you remember in a previous tutorial i wrote some code to detect faces in an image and this is that code so 
let's say I wanted to add some documentation right here, add a new line, and then it immediately starts typing some comments for me based on the existing code. Draw a rectangle around the face, perfect. Then if we just highlight this code, I can click here and say, ask Cody to edit. And let's say, instead of saving it as always sunny face zero, I'll say change the image name to ASF underscore zero dot JPEG. And I'll hit enter and there we go. I'll accept. Perfect. And we can actually see all the output down here. And if we look right here, we could see provider model code llama 7B. So this is a small, high performing model. Now, Cody has a lot of other really cool features that you can use for free. They aren't currently powered by local models, but I want to show it to you anyways. So we can chat. We just click on that button right there. It opens up a chat. And here it's using Claude 2.0. But if we select this drop down, we can use any of these other models, including one of my favorite, Mixtral 8X7B by Mixtral. These are all pro models, but as I mentioned, pro is currently free. So let's select Claude 2.0. So I'll say, what is this file about? Then I'll hit the at sign and do find faces, enter. And now it should tell me what's in that file. Yep, Python code detecting faces in an image and extracting them to save as a separate image file. We can also easily add documentation. So if we click right there, it's currently reading the code and adding documentation in real time. That's actually super cool how it does that. And then we can hit accept right there. You can also edit code with instructions. So go ahead and click that and we can just say remove all comments. And perfect. It removed all the comments super fast too. We can also have it explain code, which I showed you. And we could also look for smells, code smells. So if you have pretty robust code and you're looking for any ways to dry that code up, this is a great way to do that. And then probably the thing that I would use most often if I was still building in production environments is generating unit tests. Very helpful, something I did not enjoy doing, although of course, very useful to have tests for your code. So there you go, Cody is very powerful. I'd say better than GitHub Copilot because it has a lot more functionality baked in. Plus you can do autocomplete with local models. So check it out, go to Cody.dev. Thank you to Cody for sponsoring this video. And if you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.